okay so again this was uh, this again we started seeing patients and then realized they were related uh, retinal sequelae of covid 19 vaccination i'm sorry because of conversion to powerpoint it has lost its alignment but these can be classified as vascular occlusions in the young who have no other disposing factors inflammations uh, macular CNVM, either de novo or worsening of pre-existing lesions, and neurophthalmic manifestations seen in the posterior segment. So vascular occlusions, this was a young lady, 38-year-old retina surgeon actually. She came with CRVO and inferotemporal BRAO three days after her Covishield vaccine, second dose. And uh, we gave her oral steroids and anticoagulants. The physician saw her because physicians see a lot of these uh, complications post-vaccine. So they treated her and she improved uh, remarkably. Then we had a young male, 28-year-old male. Within 11 days of his Sputnik vaccine, he came with vision drop, and this was a superior hemiretinal vein occlusion. Again, physician gave steroids, anticoagulants. He improved, but required an anti vegf for macular edema resolution. Then we had a young male, again, no comorbidities, with CRAO uh, within seven days of a second dose of Covishield. Probably it's an ophthalmic artery occlusion because he was no PL, and uh, he did not improve even no other comorbidities. Then we had several cases of inflammation, uh, anterior uveitis and retinal vasculitis, optic neuritis, several cases. Uh, so this was the first case we saw of a multifocal bilateral choroiditis in an ENT surgeon. Post-vaccine, uh, within three days or four days, he started developing ocular symptoms. And he, re he resolved with steroids and azathioprine, long-term azoran. Then this was again a young lady uh, coming within six weeks of the vaccine with floaters, retinal vasculitis. Again, she's on long term as a, as a thioprin, and she has resolved. This was a young man uh, who realized his disease a little late. He came when he was already having proliferative retinopathy with vitreous hemorrhage. Again, he's on steroids as a thioprin and improving with aflibercept injections. And he's on laser as well. And this, we did his COVID antibodies, which were strongly positive. We had patients who were stable on uh, anti vegf You see this gentleman? His no symptoms. We were treating him for two years with three monthly aflibercept. No complaints. Just coming, taking, and going. We took a, he came to us suddenly with the first time he was symptomatic, three days. And he had taken a COVID shield four days back. And first time we saw fluid in his eye with a large RP detachment. And now we had to continuously give him very closely spaced injections. But despite that, you see eight months later also there is fluid at the, which was never the case earlier. Uh, this was a young lady. Um, within 10 days of her vaccine, she came with hemorrhagic CNVM, resolved with aflibercept. This was a, uh, now this male, elderly male, uh, came with optic neuritis, which was already old case by the time he came to us. But uh, he started post-vaccine, uh, already into optic atrophy by the time he has come. Now, this is not the gender and age for the first event of optic neuritis. Similarly, not the gender and age for idiopathic intracranial hypertension. I've never seen in this type of a uh, uh, profile. But within six weeks of vaccine, he had come with severe headache, papilledema bilateral. And same for a young lady. Um, IIH within days of vaccine. 